this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to customize the ribbon in Microsoft Word 2013. The ribbon appears right at the top of your document right here. And to customize it, just right click in a space on the ribbon, and then go to customize the ribbon. Alternatively, you can get to that by going to file, then go into options, and then going to customize ribbon. Now in the right hand box is a um, list of items that are currently on the ribbon already. As you can see here, we have home insert and design, and that's exactly the same as what appears up here. Home insert design as tabs. And if I click on these plus signs here, you can expand within. So within the home tab, we have clipboard, font, and paragraph, and that appears right here, clipboard, font, paragraph. Now you can't add uh, things into these categories, uh, into these tabs, but you can create a new tab. So we're going to create a custom tab right now. Click on the new tab button at the bottom. So you can see we have our new tab and we have our new group within as well. If I click on new tab, I can then go down to rename and rename it. And I'll call it my tab like so. Then press OK. And then we have our new tab that's renamed to my tab. And I'm going to rename my group. Click on new group and then go into rename and name it something, I'll call it group one for an example here. And then use a symbol if you like. Then press OK. We have group one now. Make sure group one is selected and then we're gonna use that left hand box here and we're just going to find items to add to it. I'm gonna use open, press the add arrow here and it'll move it over to our group one. And then I'm gonna find something else like paste, move that over, as you see we have paste there now. And you can also rearrange what's uh, in this box here. So like if I want paste above open, use the up and down arrows to rearrange like so. And you can also do that for tabs. If you click on my tab, I can move it up above the home tab here. So that would appear right before home here, as you can see um, when I press OK. So when I press OK, you will see my tab will appear just before the home tab right there. If I click on that, you then get to see group one, which I've created. Now we're going to add something else to it. Right click, go to customize the ribbon. And then making sure my tab is selected, go down to new group. And then go to rename. And then I'm going to call this group two. And then I'll click on a symbol here. So now we have group two and we can add to that. I notice right at the top you can choose commands from and you can select various other categories here like commands not in the ribbon and you can select a lot more different things here. Uh, I'm going to choose some, let's see now, uh, if I just put like close all here and this one here. So as you can see we have group 2 with some items in there now and then if I press OK that will appear after group 1 as you can see. If I right click again, go to customize ribbon, I'll just show you some other things you can do here. Notice at the bottom we have reset. If you want to reset the default settings, click on that. If you want to import and export, click on this and you can export all customizations to another computer. This might be useful. Um, you can also import customization file by clicking here. Now, if you want to delete items from uh, your ribbon, you simply can click on the tab and then go to, by right clicking, go to remove. You can also do that for groups as well. If you right click on the group, you can go to remove there. And the same with uh, items that are within groups as well, as you can see. Another thing you can do is you can um, disable some of these tabs here. So notice you've got these tick boxes. And if I untick, uh, say the home tab here, and then press OK, it'll then vanish from up here. So this can be quite useful. You can also enable the developer tab. And this isn't usually enabled by default, but you would uh, just tick the box and then it will appear right at the top here, as you can see. So I hope you found this tutorial useful. Don't forget to subscribe and do check out my website whiteclick.net for more video tutorials. Thanks for watching.